All right, we are back. Thanks for stopping in at Shop For Me Garage. We're back working on this uh, Soul EV. And uh, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, uh, I'll put a link right up here. Go check that out first and then come on back. So today what we're gonna be doing is dropping the battery pack down, opening the case and replacing the control module. And uh, I have the module right here. So it should have been done from the beginning. And so basically there was a misunderstanding. The original battery pack was ordered by another technician, Sam, uh, who no longer works here. Uh, shout out to my friend, Samantha, who is at home and she's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby boy. See that? 1970 Pontiac Firebird. That's the gender reveal. Anyway, Sam ordered the battery pack and she uh, jumped through all the hoops and everything with TechLine. And basically what they did is they told her to uh, order the battery pack and replace the control module assembly under uh, technical service bulletin ELE 310. And the parts were ordered, they were on back order. So we're waiting months for these parts to come in. And between the time that the parts uh, were ordered and the time that they should have come in, the uh, technical service bulletin changed. So Kia just canceled the order. So we didn't get any batteries. And the customer took the vehicle home. I don't know what he was doing with it. He can't drive it very far. And we had to get the customer back in get all the information out of the module again and open a tech line case and i tried to reopen the same case that sam had and they're putting here open uh reopen denied you know i had to open a new tech line case so i opened a new tech line case and i told them all the stuff that we went through and everything and they're like okay let me expedite this up the chain of command you know and uh then eventually they got back to me and said to replace the uh, high voltage battery pack using regular shop manual procedures and that's it didn't say anything about doing the TSB which says to replace the module too so it's just replace the battery pack so you saw it if you saw part one we replaced the battery packs and that's all we did so uh, and then now we have problems and so I got back with TechLine again tried to reopen that case it wouldn't let me reopen so I just opened another case and uh, they're saying that if you haven't replaced the battery management system um, listed in ELE 310 then you need to do that you know and he even says right here sorry if this was not made clear well it wasn't made clear so you know anywho we need to drop this thing out and uh, open the case back up and put this thing in there you need to put this battery pack in there our battery pack this uh control module in there put it all back together and reprogram it and hopefully everything will work out so let's get started
Okay, I got all 522.168 bolts and nuts and screws and fasteners and stuff off of here. And uh, you've seen this before. Pull this lid off and see if anything's changed. <laughs> We can pop this seal. As soon as you pull it up, it likes to grab itself back down. Come on, get off of there. Oops. I'm okay. Okay. Now this is what we're replacing. Here is the new module. So let's uh, get this out of here and put the new one in, put everything back together. Okay, that is pretty much it. Um, I mean, that's all we need to do is just stick this thing in right here, make sure everything's connected. Let's just look over everything really quickly, make sure that it's all connected, it should be, because um, we didn't mess with any of this stuff. But, you know, since we're here, we might as well check it. And it looks fine. So now we just uh, put it all back together and um, get the programming that uh, control module and let's see what happens.
Okay, I got everything in. Um, I got the scanner hooked up right here. I'm going to turn it on. See what it says. So it's still showing 81%. But I need to uh, do the ECU reprogram um, and uh, I need to do it <clears throat> based off of this bulletin right here, which is the uh, uh, ELE 310. Um, it's saying that I need to program event uh, 728, which is gonna have to be done in manual mode. So I am gonna go into manual mode right here Looking for BMS, and we're looking for 728, and 728 is right up here on the top, 728, uh, plus electrical heater, or minus electrical heater, we're minus electrical heater, because we, because this, um, what they're talking about is, does the battery pack have a heater, um, and it's not a heated battery pack, um, so we are going to go with this one right here. And I'm going to hit upgrade. And then it's asking for the password. Uh, password for the... Which one is it? Oh, they, that's not the password. Where's the password? Oh, password's down here. Okay. Uh, what does it say? Uh, Non-electrical heater. That is 4201. So I will hit nope four two zero one and let it do its thing. So this may take a little while. So uh, I'll get you back whenever it's done, and we'll see if it, if it even fixed anything. So all right. Um, so right now. After doing that reprogram, you can see that it's showing that we got 91 miles instead of 81 miles. Um, and uh, we see this traction control light um, and it's ABS and uh, stuff on there. So it has uh, the codes that I uh, did the program. I, I, I installed the program <laughs> and um, I cleared the codes and then this code uh, came back uh, It's ABS uh, wheel speed sensor uh, rear right hand open or short it's active and it won't clear um, so that's obviously another problem and that doesn't have anything to do with us uh, putting the battery pack in but um, it seems like everything's good still got a couple things to put together I got that um, that uh, lower um, cover I got to put on it so um let's uh put the thing uh finish putting it back together and let's uh, take it out on the road and see how she performs and if uh everything is good then i'm gonna put it on the charger let it charge up to 100 percent and um i'll probably uh, talk to the customer about that abs and uh see if they want to do anything about that but let's finish putting this thing together I don't know if y'all notice, but this lift is just barely on there. That's the way it is on all, all four corners. And it is just barely holding, just barely. And the thing is, 
that's the way you got to do it so that you have room to pull this drop this battery down and this lift's not in the way so um <laughs> yeah it, it just takes a while just to get it set right and you hope the thing doesn't slip off haven't had one slip off yet uh, knock on wood but um it uh it's uh kind of um uh, nerve-wracking a little bit <laughs> so uh, let's get this thing down and take her out on the road see how she performs okay she's running you can't hear it because you know it's electrical vehicle <laughs> but um let's uh take her out on the road um see what happens uh, i'm gonna put her through the paces and make sure that um i don't have any codes coming up or anything like that and um just uh, see what happens let's go Okay guys, that is pretty much it. Um, it uh, test drive went really good. The thing's got a lot of power for you know what it is. Um, it's now seven, saying that it has 78 miles on it, um, and I'm gonna. I just I just need to move a miles out there so I can put this thing on the uh, charger and get up to 100 percent. And um, other than that, you know the uh, ABS light being on uh for that speed sensor is probably a speed sensor maybe maybe not it needs to be diagnosed i'll find out if the customer wants to diagnose that and um i've done one of those diagnosis um um diagnostics on a kia soul that had uh, that uh abs speed sensor issue um and if you want to check that out i'll put it right up here in, in the corner uh put a link up there you can go check that out but uh, as for this, uh, we're pretty much done. Um, if we had just uh, replaced the module the first time, uh, we wouldn't have had to go back and break that case back open. Um, just a misunderstanding. That's, that's what Techline says. I mean, if Techline tells you to replace the battery uh, management system and the battery packs together following TSB ELE 310, then that's what you do. If they say replace the battery packs uh, according to um, normal procedures, then that's what you do. Uh, you don't um, um, decide what you want to do. Whatever Techline tells you to do, that's what you do. If they tell you the wrong thing, hey, that's their fault, you know. So we had to do this all over again because Techline told us the wrong thing, and uh, that's just a matter of fact. Um, so. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for sticking in there and watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next one.